All right, today's video, following along with the Articat 650H1 TRV project, is this is the video where we take apart the 4x4 actuator and see if there's a gear stripped inside or what exactly failed. I'm pretty excited to see what the heck went on, so let's have a look. So let's take apart the actuator, it's a T20. Interesting that they use a different size for that screw. I wonder why. Well, they use a different size for this screw. Sure isn't anti-tamper proof, that's for sure. Now this cover, oh, I guess it just popped right out. I thought it was gonna be stuck in there. Apparently not. So now that we got this thing apart, this is what I noticed right here, is that this has popped up. So I wonder if this plastic housing's broken or if it's something that we can fix. So how this thing's designed is actually really simple, is that this gear turns and this housing is stuck inside here. So this pin right here is gonna go forwards and backwards. Now if you look, let me grab something I can point with. Now right down the circuit board, there's a limit switch there and a limit switch there. So when this thing's inside, our in thing right there, it's gonna go back and forth, hit those limit switches and tell when to stop. And on the flip side, this piece right here, which goes in that hole, is the piece that engages your 4x4. Pushes the pin in, releases it out. So now this is where it gets interesting. I just hooked it up, and uh, it went all the way to the end, and then it stopped. But I think there's a limit switch that's bad in there. And it no longer does anything. Yeah, there we go again. Gets forced itself to the back. And then out. Well, this limit switch does seem to be working. You just click it here. However, I don't have the resistance value on these switches, but when I toggle the other one, there's not that much resistance. I'm trying to get this, hopefully you guys can see. So I'm gonna turn this wheel. See, the monetary switch has been hit. It should stop right there. But what happens is that the motor keeps on turning keeps turning gets to a point where it can't turn anymore and that's where this pops up so that's why I am suspecting that switch right there alrighty I don't know about you guys but I'm gonna end the video here of troubleshooting what could be possibly wrong with this 4x4 actuator by Articat usually the gear strip that's not the case for us I'm thinking the problem is with that limit switch I did do some research a little while ago and I found out someone did find the part number for those switches. So I'm gonna have to refine that information, order a switch, we're gonna re-solder it in and see if this fixes the problem. And then from there, we can say that these are a serviceable item. And in fact, these gears you can probably get from an RC shop. I'm gonna leave the video at this until I get some more info and some parts and we will continue. So I'll talk to you guys later.